Forever Preserver 2000 here, back again doing another video here, and today in this video I'm going to be talking about my photography. I started doing photography back in 2016, and I've been getting better at it since, and like, uh, well, right here, I've got examples of some of my work. I'm probably going to just let them fade in, and then you'll probably, they'll probably fade out later. The first subjects of my professional photography were mainly plants. Again, here's more examples. Um, the first gallery that was interested in my work was in Madison, Georgia, and I have a picture of it, like, right here. I don't know if that shows up or not, so let me know if it doesn't. Um, the first gallery I got one of my photos displayed at was in Arnoldsville, Georgia, and I have a picture of myself in front, or below, the photo that was, I guess you could say, displayed slash sold. And speaking of that photo, the first photo that I sold depicted the Civil War locomotive Texas. I've got two pictures of it, like right, I don't know, right around in here or something. I, I don't know. The first exhibition showing a lot of my work was in Lexington, Georgia. I've got photos of the Main Street here. Well, a photo of the Main Street, sorry. Um, and Lexington is also where a house is located, and it's featured in at least two of my photo series. I've got photos of the said house here, and the whole roof's just like dead, it's falling in. So, uh, yeah, the first piece of my photography to, to be displayed in a professional gallery was titled Heart Rail. Again, here's a picture of it. It's on display at the Linden House. The signature work I've done is a photo I took that shows a cardinal at Brook Green Gardens, and it's also my most, photo, my most sold photograph to date. And here's a photo over here. My most intriguing photo is titled Tipsy Shed. It's one I took out in Nebraska and says the shed about to fall over. Which again, here's a photo over here. Oh, and the uh, piece I personally considered my best work depicts Challenger 3977 in North Platte, Nebraska. Here's a photo of it here, I guess. I, I don't know. It's probably going to just be fade in as a fade out for the photos. So just bear in mind. Okay, and now uh, photo series three which I'll just include photos of, has like a total of 257 photographs while Series 2 only has 50. I'll just show some examples of photos for that for y'all. You should have made no sense. One of my contemporary photos is one that's looking up the side of the Gateway Arch. And uh, that's right, uh, I don't know, there, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. My newest photo series is one of only two photo series where I have a few photos in black and white and in color. Photo series three also mostly consists of blown glass and coastal birds. I've got examples for each one of the said series. I've used eight different cameras for both film and photography with the oldest one that I used coming from 2007 and the newest being my Canon Rebel which is one of only three cameras that I still have. Most of the others are have been uh, disposed of. Yeah. A few of my teachers have actually bought some of my photos, mainly from the exhibition in Lexington. Um, I've got some, some of that, if I recall, some of the teachers bought. Uh, and photo series four actually has some photos that were taken by my mother from my uh, yearbook pictures. So, uh, yeah, there's some examples over there. And that's uh, pretty much it for this video, and I'll uh, see y'all later. Rare Preserver 2000, signing out.